Hi, I'm Mark Zip from Crocker Farm Auction. I'm here to talk to you today about an exceptional example of Shenandoah Valley Pottery that will cross the block in our March 2nd auction. Uh, this is a spaniel figure made of redware. Uh, this form was popularized in England during the 19th century, uh, modeled after the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Uh, but that form, that popular form produced in Staffordshire, England, would, would uh, come across the pond and be made by various redware and stoneware potters in America. One family that made a lot of these figures, although a few have survived, is the Bell family of Strasburg, Virginia, and Waynesboro, Pennsylvania. Uh, most of these figures that are known were made by John Bell in Waynesboro, Pennsylvania. There's a handful of singular glazed spaniels, painted spaniels, molded uh, pairs of spaniels made by John Bell bearing his mark uh, from Waynesboro, Pennsylvania. But John Bell's brother, Solomon, also made uh, a handful of these spaniels in Strasburg, Virginia, as well as uh, uh, John, John's brother Samuel's sons, so John's nephews in Strasburg, uh, made a handful of them. And, and there's, there's a few signed by uh, Richard Franklin Polk Bell during the latter part of the 19th century in Strasburg. Some have multi-glaze and, and punching, that sort of thing. This. Uh, happens to be an example by Solomon Bell, um, and of of the spaniels known uh, from from our experience, Solomon's are the rarest. Uh, this is the only example I've handled personally, and one of only a few known. And one of the interesting things about it is it actually bears Solomon's hand signature incised into the bottom. Can you get that okay, Solomon? Bell. And you can see there's a vent hole right here in the bottom as well. And then the stamp here at the bottom is one of Solomon's more unusual stamps, one of his earlier stamps that dates to around 1850, uh, 1855 or so. It's a two-line larger stamp than his more common three-line mark. And you find it on a lot of ovoid jars uh, that sort of have links to his Winchester uh, past and um, it says Solomon Bell Strasburg VA in two lines. This mark you don't find too often on Solomon Bell stoneware and especially redware. Um, this piece is glazed to look a lot like a a spaniel would look. Uh, it has a, a streaky manganese glaze, very pleasing color over a mottled orange and olive clay ground. You can see that dripped glaze and and besides that it has this very nice heavy clear leg glaze applied over the body that gives it this flowing very glossy coat to the figure. This is a very exciting new, new uh, offering in, in Shenandoah Valley pottery. Um, this is the first one of these to cross the block, to my knowledge, since, since the Wiltshire sale back in, in the late 70s, but, but maybe more have popped up. Um, I'm just not sure, but it's an incredibly rare example, um, certainly one of the finest examples of Solomon Bell pottery to, to come on the auction block in the past several years, and we're very excited to offer it.